Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I have a photo up here of my task manager when I start my PC and how it's operating, which is absolutely nothing. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do this, but we're also going to go over how to remove OneDrive, why you should remove it or shouldn't remove it, and how to reinstall Windows properly, and then the services to disable on Windows how to change your power plan, how to manage different settings within Windows power plan options that display different types of effects on your screen that you can take away. We're going to go through notification removal and everything that we can remove from a fresh Windows reinstall to make our gaming as optimal as possible. Now the other thing here is even if you're not reinstalling Windows, this is still something you can do just skip ahead and forget about the reinstall windows and removal of OneDrive because those things go one and one with each other. If you do skip that part of the video, feel free to watch the rest of it as that stuff will always be beneficial for everybody that's doing it anyways. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to properly reinstall windows. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is type reset in the windows search bar and we need to go to reset this PC. Once you get into Reset PC, you should see a recovery option here, and we're going to click Get Started. Now, when you go through here, it's not going to show me what it will show you. It will be a little different. However, you are going to click Remove Everything. It's going to get it ready. We are going to use the Cloud Download and Reinstall Windows, because that is what is going to give us our Windows software. Now, when you hit next again, it's going to get things ready and everything is going to start to restart. Now, one important thing to note is you will see an option to make it take a longer amount of time. It will remove all the data. It will remove all the local drive data and it will tell you that it is going to excessively remove things. That is the option that you pick. Now, to remove OneDrive, when your Windows reinstalls, you're going to select all of the options that say you do not have a Windows account and you would like to sign up for Windows with a phone. You need a mobile phone for this, it will send you an SMS, and then your PC will boot up after, and what you'll notice is if you go to manage your account, you will now have a local administrator account on your PC, which you can change to be any name that you want. If you see a Microsoft account down here, you most likely did something wrong, try to remove the account, and if it does not say local account administrator, you have to retry and figure out what you did wrong. If you followed what I said, wrote it down and reinstalled your Windows, everything will be good. For email and accounts, you're going to come here, and you're also going to make sure that there is no email here. If there is, you're going to remove it. Now that we have Windows reinstalled, this would be a good time to go to add or remove programs and what we're going to do is we're going to come into add or remove programs and we are going to remove Microsoft OneDrive and anything related to Microsoft OneDrive and while we are in here we are also going to remove any default Windows applications that we do not see necessary for the future of our PC. For some people that might be Spotify, it might be Skype, it might be 3D Paint, it might be anything that comes with Windows, it might be the calculator, everything that you have an option to uninstall, if you want, you can uninstall that, and you can go ahead and start to remove all of the programs that come with your Windows. Once you've done this, we need to go to Windows Search, type in RegEdit, and hit Yes, and we are going to go to the top of our registry editor, look for HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, and we're going to scroll down to the O's, and we should not see OneDrive here. By doing what we have done, our OneDrive should be removed from the PC completely. Now the next thing that I want you to do is I want you to type in msconfig for the system configuration, and we are going to start by disabling some services. It is important to note any time throughout this, if your services stop working or you go to access something on your computer such as audio and nothing is working because you accidentally disabled something, 
you can click the normal startup and this will load everything and every service on Windows and your PC will work fine and you can go back in and try and figure out what you did wrong. For this part of the video, if you come into services tab and you uncheck everything that I have unchecked here, okay? Follow what I have here and everything will be fine. If you use Bluetooth devices, do not uncheck the Bluetooth devices stuff that I have unchecked. What this is going to do is going to remove all of your services from being started up right away that you don't need. So as we scroll down this list here, I will point them out to you guys. This is going to take about two minutes and it is very worth it. So let's go ahead and let's go and see what we can disable here, what we have disabled. So I am going to go through here and I am going to take off the things that I already know that I do not need and that you will not need. After we do this, we are also going to be doing some other things here with our power plan that will be really beneficial to maintaining a low usage of your GPU and your CPU your entire time while you are running through Windows here. So again, just make sure that you are unchecking the stuff that I am unchecking here. As I do know, all of this stuff is totally fine to uncheck and your computer will remain working totally fine if you disable this stuff. Okay, so do not worry. Do not worry at all. And we are starting to get near the end here. As long as you've been doing everything that I've been doing, everything will be totally fine for you. You won't have to worry about anything. Sysmain, for some of you, you will have sysmain. For some of you, you will have something called superfetch. And that is another service that we're going to disable here as well as somewhere else. It is very important that we do that. And I do believe at the very top, I did miss something called Bit Defender, which we will go ahead and also remove that. We'll remove all of our Xbox stuff here, more Bluetooth. And that is going to be plenty for services that we can remove. Sorry, it was Bit Locker. So now we're done that, we're going to hit apply. We're going to boot. We're not going to load startup items. We're going to load selective startup and load system services. And now we're going to hit OK. So now to make that activated, we do have to restart our PC. However, we're not going to do that yet. Let's type services and let's scroll down to the S services. And all I'm going to do here is make sure that sysmain is disabled and I will put it to manual, apply, hit OK. Now we're ready to move on to the Windows power saving options. So what this does now is we've eliminated a bunch of services. We have a bunch of services that won't boot up when we restart our PC. But now let's go hit the power and sleep settings. And in the power and sleep settings, we will hit additional power and make sure we are running high performance as well as going to about and going to advanced system settings and going to the performance tab under the advanced tab hitting settings there and as you can see all i have here is smooth edges of screen fonts and show window contents while dragging that means my text isn't blurry jagged and i can go like this and still see what is on my screen now the next thing that we are going to do in the windows here is we're going to right click our taskbar on our main display monitor, which shows all of our time and all of that stuff. We're going to go to news and interests and we're going to hit turn off. 
Another thing we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we don't have any extra programs running just in here that we don't want. And it's also important that we go to Windows Notifications and Action Settings and we turn off all of these settings here for your Windows notifications. Basically what happens with Windows all the time is you get notifications for stuff, pops up on your screen, it takes your GPU to display that kind of stuff happening, and again, it just affects performance on a small level, but it does affect performance nonetheless. Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to go back into our add or remove program section here. And what we're going to also do is everything that we do not use at all really, we are just going to go to the advanced options and make sure that we take away the app's permissions completely. completely. You do that for all of the apps that you have that you do not use, and that will be a good thing you can do. Another thing that we're going to do now that we have all of these programs that we've installed after reinstalling Windows, we just want to come into here and make sure that everything is under the Disabled tab there. Once everything is disabled, you can be confident that when you start your computer, nothing here is going to be running and your usage of everything is going to be way down. As you can see, my GPU is at 65% simply because I am using high resolution, high frame rate, uh, whatever you want to call it, consistent bit rate video encoding on OBS. So that's normal for me. As you've seen back in the photo at the beginning of the video, everything was running great and that's how it usually is. So after you've done all of this stuff, the big thing that we have if you are the person who watched the whole video and did reinstall Windows and everything is now if we go to users we have our local account and when we click on that local account OneDrive is gone our computer is running great and we have completed our mission of optimizing our PC I may have missed some things in this video but hey you know what I tried to get it all and you can't get it all in every video every single time have a great day, everybody. Stay gaming.